I'll be switching in between the Holy Water and the Axe for the Legion fight, and I might as well try and get the True Core open. Just something I thought I should try. Okay, then you just wait. water. I did not need it far enough, but that's fine. Okay. Axe. Uh, the top half is the hardest part to deal with. Accidental axe throw. Oh. Surprisingly, I missed that enemy. Okay. Oh. Oh. Honestly, it doesn't make sense as to why I'm doing this, but... Okay, True Legion is out and about. I don't have enough for Ground Cross, so... Oh, this is an attack I don't think we've seen. Yeah, this is an attack we haven't seen yet. Legion just curls up... ...and bounces around. Okay. You actually do a lot of damage when you're fully out and about. Ha! Ah. Yep. The True Soul Legion was... Unlocked. Oh, man. Okay, and we don't need to continue going through the graveyard. We just need to get out of it. Making our way to the arena. We now have Rippers, the Allura Un, which honestly just phase walk my way through enemies. It's easier, less hassle. Honestly, I believe that you're not meant to fight everything. Like, there's no life system. There's no score system to worry about as well. Okay. So close. Okay. Everyone... Chill out. Okay, then. Oh. Nope. Through here, into here. 
to not risk anything, I am going to take time to make a safety save all the way down over here. Especially since zombies and such aren't really a worry for me. Not having to go through the Legion fight again is going to be really nice. Same with not having to deal with death. Okay. Now the only thing I have to worry about is... The fight with Belore, which honestly is going to be a pain since you can't duck under his punches. Look at that, we're almost done with Julius mode. Because after Belore, I believe it would be Graham. Why? Julius, the hell, man. Okay. Okay. Ow. Just need to make it to the save room here. Do my thing. Oops. Nope, nope. Nope. So. Considering that Julius mode is marginally shorter than Soma Story by, well, at this point, a factor of 11. Because you... Okay. Yes! Phase two! Okay. Okay, phase two, everyone. It is done. It's somehow an easier fight than death once you once you shut your gap and focus on dodging everything. This time we're taking that safe. So now with Glory out of the way. Very sorry about that. Okay, I can just move through. Doesn't matter if I get hit by a gargoyle or not. Okay. I see, I have multiple enemies to deal with here. Okay, where do you think we got to go to next? Well, obviously top floor. Because in my memory, you then have access to all the souls required for the Soul of Dracula combo. You can then get the true ending by fighting Graham. And yeah, we're at the end of Julius mode. Just got to get through here. 
Okay, this route is... Maybe better for my health now that I realize I don't need to fight everything. Int here, int here. Ow. Okay, there's teleporter. Should have grabbed that. Death by a grand cross. Into there. Down through here. There. The reason I go in and out of some rooms is to very quickly get some insight. Did not mean to activate Grand Cross. Should. Oh, God, no. Nope. Nope. Sucky Buyer is a death of me. Save room. Nope. Shortcut. Which I don't need. I need save room. Nope. Up here? Yes. All right, then. The last save before fighting Graham. Which is... Nope. Right through here. should begin soon. Accidentally activated that. Phase two. Phase where patience pays off. You have to really know how far you're jumping. Oops. Oh yeah, I have no clue what Bray am saying. I assume it's meant to be something along the lines of Parish. That's all I can think of. And now our attacks take what? Slide over here. Wait for it to move. Slide over here. Up. Up. Oh. Okay. Stick over here for a bit. Okay, wait for it. Okay. Okay, I thought I had Grand Cross ready. Evidently not. I wanted to get some extra damage in. 
Okay, both hands. Laser, move. Yes, yes, we did it, we did it. It's done, the castle is dead. Graham, it's dead, long live the Belmont bloodline. Uh, and with that, Julius has done it again. He has sealed away Dracula and the castle. With that, Julius mode is done. I gave it an honest attempt, and honestly, I enjoy it when you have the actual bosses. But it's it's definitely a feeling of I wish it did have more to it. It just feels like this separate segment. Like I get it's a bonus mode. I get that. But honestly, it could have been fun. Like it could have been more fun had you've been able to toss in some of the Dawn of Sorrow enhancements. I mean, not the full thing of like, okay, with Dawn of Sorrow's Julius mode, you get uh, Genya Arikado, Julius, and uh, sorry, I, I'm forgetting her name. Uh, not Silpha. Yoko. And you get Yoko there. And you get to play it like it was Castlevania 3 minus the fourth character. But, uh... There's leftover code in the Julius mode to... Hint that Hammer was supposed to be playable in Julius mode and be your fourth character, but anyway. Oh my goodness. This was both fun and painful. Just... Up until Graham, it was all business. But some bosses were genuinely fun. Legion, Headhunter, uh, Death is a no. Death is just a no. I I have a complex relationship with Castlevania's death. But Oh man, it it feels rewarding to have gone through that. And with that we have a clear so I I mean Going just through it, going just through Julius mode, you know, an hour is basically what you're looking at if you just ignore as much of the excess as possible, because you can't get everywhere, 100%ing the map doesn't mean anything. And again, you're level one the entire time. So there's your difference there. There's how much, you know, grinding and finding every single area on the map leads. And of course, we didn't pick up any gold, and well... Honestly, I feel that Julius Mo could have been better, and I said this already, if it had a story, if it had some sort of meaning to it. Besides just, oh, hey, you get to play as Julius. You get that what-if scenario of what if uh, Soma never went into the Eclipse and it was just Julius. But Graham still was there. Personally, I think it could do with a bit of a difference of like, oh, hey, you don't start out fully powered. Maybe you have all your sub-weapons from the get-go and... You have the vampire killer, or you just have a whip, and you have to find the vampire killer by defeating uh, bosses. And like, you got to go to death to get Skula, so that then you don't uh, have that ability to cheat and just go to death through the back way, which is nice, but also kind of makes it feel like, wow, if you had some way of doing that with Soma, that. That's a way of uh, breaking the game and really cutting down your time, except for you know, map completion. But, ah, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I, I think Julius mode was fun when I knew what to expect. Once I got over my overhyping of it, and the whole fact that uh, 
the source I used for learning about Julius Mode and getting some extra research done on it uh, kind of melds both Dawn of Sorrow and Ari of Sorrow together in the brief description at the front. And reading through the Ari of Sorrow segment, it's very easy to miss that after the segment talking about uh, health, you just have this little thing saying, also, Julius's strength, con, and intelligence increase by picking up a boss orb. Oh my goodness, I cannot think of doing that fight without having gone through everything else. Because consider this, I was basically fully powered up during the grave fight. And I still got my ass handed to me multiple times through it. Oh man. Ugh. Going into there without any any of the boss or power-ups? Oh, 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 oh. That is... That would be a nightmare unless you are absolutely perfect at it. That's probably like a task level... Like, skill set, I'd say. Like, a human could definitely do it. But a machine would do it perfectly. A human would have that, you know, chance for error. You'd definitely end up saving right before the Graham fight, and you definitely would end up constantly going through it. And it's like, a speedrun of Julius mode has to be absurdly short. And it's all based on whether or not, you know, getting to Graham and battling Graham ends up going your way. Oh, man. So, with that... Thank you all for coming down to My Neck the Woods. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this section of Castlevania Ari of Sorrow. Have an excellent rest of your day, and farewell. It's fully done! Yes! I got the first Castlevania game done. <sighs> Now what?